Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's Mike here at Game From Scratch. And uh, remember when Unity set itself on fire? Well, before that, Unity Asset Store Humble Bundles used to be some of the most popular ones out there. And then they basically just went away. Well, we're starting to see a trickle of them come back. And that's what we've got today. The Mega Mix Unity Asset Store Pack. Now, first off, this is redeemed with a single key on the Unity Asset Store. So you buy this, whichever tier you buy, you get a key, you go over to your Unity account, you put the key in, you assign it to an organization, and then you get all of these assets. It works out to uh, 30 bucks for 27 items here. Uh, medium tier never makes sense, as you can see here. Uh, you can pay 20 bucks US for eight items. A $1 tier sometimes makes sense, although I do have to point something out with the $1 tier here. What is this lady doing here? It's like a cyberpunk asset, and then we'll just like throw some stock woman photo on top of it. So yeah, uh, but generally uh, the one dollar tier is the weakest tier for a reason. And I've also heard that this one is actually a free asset. So the one dollar tier is super disappointing. Do not buy it. But when we go to the full fat tier, which is realistically the only tier that makes sense this time, it's pretty solid. There's some good stuff here. There's some filler here. Uh, Unity recently had a two dollar asset store sale, and I think we've seen some duplication between that and this one. But here you get an idea of what you're getting in this bundle. Now I'm going to actually showcase some of what I think are the highlight items here. Again, we got things like icon packs. Now in the age of like Gen AI and such, these icon packs are going to go away. Uh, just 100% certain that they're going to in time. Speech recognition, that's actually pretty cool. And I did not add that to my highlights list. The ones I think are probably the standouts. Let's go through them right now. So the first one we've got is Draw XXL. This is one of those utilities that is just super useful. I actually just did a feature on something like this for the Godot game engine. It enables you to easily draw visual things in the world. It's good for visual debugging and development tools, works with all the major pipelines, works in edit mode, play mode, uh, and in builds. So you can draw gizmo lines, debug lines, handle lines, meshes, and so on. So if you want to draw text and shapes and such into your world to kind of visualize how things are working, that's what Draw XXL is all about. Super handy stuff. It's just one of those things you end up using. Uh, on top of that, we've got the Sci-Fi Bosses Pack. Now this is a collection of uh, character bosses. You see here all like sci-fi themed. Uh, kind of strikes me as that uh, Horizon Zero uh, kind of vibe to them. I mentioned this one because quite frankly, it's the most expensive asset in this particular bundle. Uh, available for all three major pipelines. So you get an idea of what's here. I uh, got 29 animations included as well. So a ton of like robotic bossy types. So obviously, this is going to be of uh, very niche use depending on what kind of game you're creating here. Uh, but again, a ton of different... Uh, high quality sci-fi bosses. The biggest again, reason why I'm pointing that one out is it is the most expensive asset. Now, probably the most popular asset we've got here is Fishnet. Now, this is a popular networking library. Now, one thing you want to be aware of, Fishnet is available for free. Now, what you're getting here is the pro version. So if you want to go out and check out Fishnet, you can, completely free asset. Uh, works with all major pipelines, of course, because it doesn't do any rendering. And you're going to see here, this is the pro version, and this is what you're getting for pro. So lag compensation, automatically remover of server logic from client builds, network level of detail, network transform extrapolation, uh, and so on. So basically, you're getting some uh, extended features just to make networking work better or easier or more performant. Uh, so that is Fishnet. That is the pro version. If you want to go ahead and check out the free version first, you can do so. Get an idea of what you're getting here. Uh, then we've got the wireframe shader. Super straightforward. It's shader, draws wireframes on objects. This is one of those things that I actually end up using quite a lot. I don't know why this is something that comes up for me a lot of times. Actually, I know why it is for me. Because a lot of times what I want to do is showcase something sort of like this image for thumbnails. So I want to do a rendering and I want to do a rendering with the, uh, wireframe as well. Very niche usage. But again, it's, it's something I end up using a lot. So if you need to render wireframes inside of your running game, wireframe shader does exactly that for you. Uh, then we've got Battleships 2. Uh, this one is basically a whole lot of spaceships. I love spaceships, so I'm including it here. So basically, huge collection of sci-fi assets. Uh, then we've got Mystifying Effects. This is actually what I used for the thumbnail, so I felt somewhat inclined to include this in the highlight list. Uh, the truth of the matter is, it's also pretty cool. It makes super easy to do virtual effects, or VFX, sorry, not virtual, uh, VFX onto your object. Basically, this is for the ERP only, by the way, so if you're not using Universal Render Pipeline, no use to you at all. But basically, it uh, allows you to transform any object into a VFX 
canvas. So uh, support for primitives, basically drop the object on, then you got controls over blurs and distortions, crystallizations, fake volumetric lighting, etc. So it's super easy VFX that you can just apply to any object. Uh, then we've got two of these that I'm gonna kind of include back to back because they're, they're just consistent quality stuff. And that is the things from Nature Manufacture. And basically it boils down to, if you want to have one of these two assets, you're getting basically everything else for free. Uh, but you also see Nature, uh, Nature Manufacture stuff is bundled fairly commonly something else to be aware of so make sure you don't already own it this one is a modular castle set so everything you see to create a castle like this uh, straightforward again a nature manufacturer tends to make pretty good quality stuff all three major pipelines are supported. So uh, that is the modular castle dungeon and dungeon, sorry. Uh, and then we also have the advanced foliage pack 2.0 from Nature Manufacturer. This one is for creating, you know, shrubs and trees and, and so on. Uh, everything you see to create here. Again, all three major pipelines are supported. Uh, which is nice. So a group of foliage, grass, flowers, roots, trunk models, ground textures, assets were scanned and carefully optimized, shaders for foliage, rocks, and trunks support dynamic snow cover. So if you're creating a nature environment, uh, just a useful pack all around. And then finally, we have Cake It. This is actually a really small asset. It's like 10 bucks or 12 bucks, you can see there. Uh, the reason why I'm highlighting it is because K is a cool guy. We actually know him in real life, so I'm gonna highlight his items here. So yeah, that's uh, that's K Kit, uh, and then uh, yeah, that's the bundle. So um, again, not overwhelmingly great, but it boils down to if there is a single asset here uh, for thirty bucks that generally, say if you wanted Fishnet Pro, you could buy Fishnet Pro right now for pretty much half price, and you are getting 26 other items for free. That applies to the same Mystify effects. If you wanted that, you could buy it for basically full price and get 26 items for free. Nothing, again, overwhelmingly awesome in this pack, um, but some useful things, again, I highlighted, I think the biggest ones uh, here. Uh, and then you've got uh, over here, again, uh, <laughs> What are you guys thinking? So ladies and gentlemen, that is it. That is the Mega Mix Unity Asset Store Pack. By the way, if you do use my link, it does support me. And thank you very much for doing so. Let me know what you think of this bundle of Unity Assets. Are you back on the Unity train? Are you buying Unity Assets? Again, I know a lot of people were like still using Unity, but a little gun shy about buying things on the Asset Store. But hey, buying things at a massive discount is different than buying them at full price. So let me know what you think. Comments down below. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.